lost in the town. How does it feel now that you own? How much you worth? How big is your home? How come you won't get a few teachers? I think you should. How about I don't? How about you just get the fuck on my dick? Hey, period. Hey, you know how I see this look? Go ahead and continue watching. Ah. Ooh. <laughs> okay, y'all. <laughs> so, you know, it's your girl. I am Nubian. What's poppin'? It's like early as fuck in the morning. It's like, it says 7 a.m. I've been up since like. 5 a.m. Like, no joke. Like, my insomnia has been so bad. Um, if you've been watching my health journey, you're probably going to find out all about that and all of that. Um, I have bought me a pack of hair. It's all one pack. There's your whole head. It's a Brazilian curl. So, I'm going to go ahead and install that. It comes with a um, four-inch closure. So, I'm just braiding. going to braid my braids down like this. Um, I was doing a little bit of research because in the past when I did do them, I braided it back like I normally do. Um, and I'm also going to be using some molding um, gel stuff. And I'm going the weave ceramic stuff um, that I said I hate using that I did in my previous install. And I'm also going to, um, I went and got me some Gossip Beat Glue Spray. And I also have like the little miniature gels that when it, all that stuff first came out and stuff. Um, so do a little variations of that. Um, I am leaving a little bit of edges out on the perimeter just because um, this hair is super, super curly. Um... And I don't like putting stuff directly on my edges and damaging my hairline. So that is why I'm leaving a little bit out so it is parted. Like so. My face is so little, y'all, so my glasses is gonna fall off. But just around the edges. Like so. So yeah. And I'm just gonna do this to for y'all. I gotta be to work at 11. Tell my mama like, I'll be back. I'm gonna go with my hair. So, let's get into it, y'all. So, after you find your desired part that I'm gonna be into, which I parted all the way down to the back. Okay. So, I'm just gonna start. The basic braid. And after I get past that little, um, per the part where my lace closure is going to sit on there, I probably start doing the braids a little bit bigger because, like I said, the hair is uber um, curly and the hair is probably going to grow bigger as the install is up. And I'm still going to do this braid a little bit, um, then or not because I want to sew my caps down and I'll sew my caps down. So yeah. Like so. And I'm just gonna just repeat that step all the way through. Um I do have tutorials up on my page where I do real time videos. So if you want to go check those out. Because you want something super detailed, you can go ahead and check that out. But this video is pretty much going to be um, a pop in, pop out type of thing. So after I get this all braided, I'm gonna come back when I start to do my little. Ciao. Hi y'all. So I did my braiding pattern. It's not the best braid, but the inner like one, two, three. Or, yeah, four braids on each side. A uh, little ass head, y'all. Now that I was debating on if I wanted to sew these down or not and bring this and make this a little bit tighter. And being that when I went to go find my thread, it was just enough to do that. I'm going to go ahead and do that. So you want to make sure it's a knot at the end. And I did rubber band this with two black rubber bands. And I'm going to go through that outside braid on the, um, on the right side. I'm going to go over those braids and then go back on the left hand out of braid. 
And be careful when you're doing this to make sure that you're not poking your finger, but you can still feel where the needle is at. And also, I went through my parts with some vitamin E oil. I didn't overdo it, but I put enough on my scalp so my hair is hydrated. And also, at the tips of my braids, I went in with a little bit of water and some of this oil on my fingers. And I just spiral curled it because I have the type of hair that it'll just, you know. Do this little thing you know and then that keeps your ends hydrated and everything is well so your hair is not dry it's nice and oiled that's just that first stitch and i made sure i went under that um knot so that's what's gonna secure it if you're new to sewing your hair down I'm just gonna go through it one more time. This is just gonna make everything super duper flat. And depending on how thick your hair is, is depending on how many stitches you're gonna do. Um, I'm just gonna go up a little bit higher where this part is at. And don't do it too tight because when you do your outside braid and start doing those tracks, the hair is going to get tighter as well. So just make sure that you're not doing nothing too tight. And then just go through that stitch one more time to make sure that it's secure. And then I hold this knot open with my fingers and I slide the needle through. And hold my finger to make sure it's secure. And on this knot, I leave a little tiny bit of space. And I just tuck those hairs down. And then I'm gonna do another knot. Ooh, I feel like I'm just getting those straight hairs in it. So when you take this down, you want to make sure that you're taking this down in a careful way. Um, I am not going to be put in the ceramic um gel on that part of my hair it is going to be a napkin over that part because if you watch my channel i do do the napkin method so there will be a napkin back here on most of my hair because i do not like anything touching my hair for real for real and um i'm gonna do some that's to be spraying and some um what's this stuff called <laughs> this stuff right here it is the argan oil we want to wrap on the edges and all right here because i'm gonna make sure it's super duper duper flat and i'm still gonna go through and sew it even though it's like ceramically on there because I don't play my weeks looking up now like this. Thank you. <laughs> so, this is my first time doing this method, y'all. And I was just like, I'm just gonna get me down a little bit. Um, I feel like. I don't feel like I should have to clean off my forehead and all that right now because it's not even going to be on my forehead. It'll be in like this part of the video. I'm really just trying to get to the mold to these braids right here. Did you feel me? So we're not even going to do all of that because after I get done with my hair, I'm going to take a bubble bath and do my facial and all that good stuff because I'm only like an hour in. On this, you know, I'm gonna take it my sweet time. Because even if I don't go to work at 11, I'm gonna be there at like 12 at the latest. Because I do work basically from my second home. Perks of that, baby. All right. So, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna slide this cap on. And 
now that hurt. I'm just gonna have it up. So. That's why I said I'm gonna go get some contacts, y'all. Like this wearing glasses like this. So fun. Then that part right there, I just want to make sure it is back in. I really don't want this line to interfere with anything. I'm going to make sure that that whole part is just pulled back. So now we just have the band, the thick part of the band. So we're going to flip that up <clears throat> and make sure everything with those baby hairs is out as possible. So what I'm going to do is I'll make sure that this band is sitting to where it's on that line. Of that part I mean. Okay. Alright. That way when I put the stuff on there, I can still flip to make sure I'm not, you know, getting anything on there. And a part of me is like I think I should just still put something up under there. But while that glue and stuff is wet, I can still maneuver it around. So I'm not even going to trip like that. Then with that back part, I'm just going to, you know, flip that in. And there's just extra, you know, material and cushion for a barrier on my hair. Because we're not doing that. And I also said I really didn't want to go quickly because I was seeing that my edge was thinner right here and I'm not sure if that was still from that install my sister had did a while ago and it's still trying to just grow back a little bit but we're gonna have to start figuring out some breaks and stuff to do for this or start using some of that wonder wrap and stuff because you know I don't know, I'm playing with a napkin. Okay. So I just fold one edge in. Try to get it like you know, shape of your head. So when you slide it under there, for the most part, it's folded. It's not going to be super bulky. That's gonna, yeah. Slide back there like that. So I have something you know, like this. I'm just like, I'm probably gonna have to fix that front part again. Okay, so this is kind of how I got my napkin in place. And I'm just going to hold that with one hand. He's so excited how he's gonna pin it. 
Yeah, like this nasty mess. It, you know, it takes a little second to get everything how you need it, but in the end, it really helps protect your hair. And then you can still pop a hole after your whole quick weave is done in the cap. And that way your hair can ventilate and everything. And it's not, you know, so secured and confined under all that stuff. If you want to necessary. Just make sure it's on that outer bird. I just want to move this side up a little higher. Maybe, yeah. Okay, and I'm just going to get a mirror that I can set up against this wall so I can um, further see to do my hair. Then I'm going to go back and um, adjust the cap and everything, like how I just adjusted it um, on the camera before. Then we're going to start sewing down and further molding. Also, uh, by the way, this is the hair that I will be using for my and curling. Her whole hair. This retail for $21.99. And it does come with a lace. Oh, and I was so debating on if I want to take this hair back in or still keep it in or not, but it was just so cute on the moon. So I feel we gonna keep it. Oh my god. I just spread the needle on the Okay, it's fine. Yeah, I'm crazy. So, this is the closure. I think it'll do pretty good. Um, and I really used to using a new cap for my whole head. And I don't think I have another black one. So that's another thing I'm going to do. That's this one. I'm going to make it work, baby. baby. Then I seen one with a girl. She actually just let the braids be out right there. And she just put it directly on her. Um, Actual, what's the quote? So, yeah. Of course, it's only really about that big. And right now, I'm going to put a slide on it. I really want to. Put it right here. Another thing I'm going to bring up for that. <laughs> okay. I know. I should have this trace this one. Alright, so I just got a giant erase marker. I want to make sure that I'm placing it in the right spot because I want it right up on that part right here. So I'm going to put a marker right here. Where my line is. Okay. And I kind of know where to hit the glue. Or to stop.
Because okay. I'm going to glue them in and let that dry. I'm sewing the rest. So I have something like this, it's just a rough outline of how big that face needs to be for the book. So I just further, you know, make sure everything is covered with the napkin. That's the only place that's going to have the mold on it. And move on that. And remember where you mark it at to make sure it's pulled down at that part. So you have it just right. So I'm gonna do that. Like so, making sure that this is where it needs to be. Cause all that extra part that's not sold down or glue down is getting cut. I'm just gonna squirt this on my fingers. Cause I like to have control of what I'm doing. Ooh. And I'm not gonna cover up my part exactly, but I'm gonna put it on all the other part. So I'm just doing like two layers of this. Especially like on these 
finished part, which I am at the cover of the part. But only in the front. I'm gonna make sure that. Okay, I'm going to further do this off camera. Now I'm going to spray some gas to be glued on top of that. And then I'm going to lift that and blow dry it. And I'm going to lift it up to make sure that none of the um, edges part is on it. This is my first time using this, so I'm hoping that... It doesn't earn anywhere. This is the plan. I'm going to my bow down.
Let's go to Okay, so that, I'm going to start right here and go around that part. And actually, I'm going to start from like about right here. And then go around that way. I can cut that bend in front of it, that glue and stuff. You got how I need it to be. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do that off. Okay, no, yeah, I do want to do that off camera because I got to thread my needle. You know what? I feel like Okay. Like I said, this is my first time doing it, so I can always just go back and reference from my mistakes or anything. And you just want to make sure it's arm width apart. That way you make sure you're not taking off too much stuff. You still have enough access to um, tie a knot at the end of the process. And when I do this knot for this braid, um, I'll just hit double it. And yeah, I'm trying to hurry up because I can feel it further drying. You just want to make sure it's as straight as possible. No kink, so I'm going to pull it through. It's all good. So as I said, being that this side has a little bit on me, I'm going to start right here. I'm going to start right here. Right here. Make sure you get that napkin in there. Do this so it's protecting the outer bird. I'm sorry, that noise is my toilet. Like I said, I live in an apartment, so it has my English toilet in here. Do the whole bit. Like I said, you want to pull tight and make sure you're not pulling too tight so when you get done, it's hurting. And even if you do, being that it is so down, once you get all the way completely down to your face, you can always pop the thread and it still stays secure because of the glue on the other parts of the hair. And that shit is starting to... 
Let's go for a little bit. I'm gonna put that puppet all through the middle of the all that part. I'm gonna wrap that on that side. And this side is pretty much good for the most part. I should really cut that out too much in there. Size one side that's gonna cause a little havoc. That's nothing to me. And handle a little more havoc. I just want to make sure that that is flat. I have to sorry in the switch. Yeah, I'm about to get cute, cute, y'all. So I'm gonna just go to work at 12. I ain't got time to do this shit, man. And when you see the title of this, you'll know why. You feel me? Psych self care. You feel me? I'm gonna put a mask right here. And then I'm gonna go the thicker part closer. And that's just to have protection, like, it's still a little way over flat because the way I'm sewing this. I'm going to slide my napkin a little bit because it's like a little bit of space that I don't like. So I'm sure we're going to No biggie. And then we're going to go through it again right there as we get on the other side.
This one should be not catching any yellow here. Like you're trying to fucking throw them with my row. That's never good. So let's be careful. Whatever you're supposed to be able to do. Use the element. Push it. And then that's it. It's always this side. Now we have some more. And we get on my hair. That's how the bit you know, you can do it on them quickly, but whatever. And then these in the back. Like super space kind of little. My razor's already sold down with this. That's all good. When I'm talking like that, so what you say when me, say what you do. You say you want me, and you know that it's in the direction. Ain't going anywhere with you. Boom! Little biscuit head. <laughs> but I might just put some on those little exposed parts on the sides just because I've really been trying to. Make sure my hair is all good. And that's why some of you have hooked it up at the end. But you won't have to go through all of that tangling shit. Yeah. And all I did was just double knot it and I went back through the cap to do that. Not the major. I'm just gonna cut that. I know what I like to do with this shit, you know. It ain't too, too tight. Not always in the zone, but it's a cut in the way. Everything is so. It's tight back there, so I'm gonna pop my thread. And then this part.
That's why I gotta be. Okay, y'all. I'll see you in these streets. Trying to do motherfucking waist bumps and shit. Uh-uh. Alright, alright, right. Let's just see that shit good. And that's like how I had enough thread to um bring my braids down or whatever. I'm just trying to get this shit out of my hair. <laughs> this part, I ain't even gonna make it. And it's just a little. Okay. okay, so now that I cut off that extra little piece and I dug some of my hair and stuff out, I'm just going to go ahead and put a little bit more <coughs> on that perimeter to clean it up and make sure that it's laying flat as possible and not going to move nowhere. And spray some more gossipy and further blow dry. So I'm just gonna hold my hand on my baby here. I'm just gonna smooth it out. And smooth it out. Okay, and then I'm gonna fill in those little gaps on the side. We need our edges, y'all. We can't just be out here bald in the edges. That's just not. Um,
This shit is so fucking messy, and I think that's what I'm doing for. I just don't. So sorry. <laughs> it's just not. This is gonna help my fucking hair. Ah! See, now I just got all my hair. Out. I just got it out. Damn it. Yeah, I just put some fucking water on it. It's still just a little bit. Yeah. You know what I'm Whatever. So I'm just gonna blow dry those sections. And for to open up this packet here, you got them. Okay, y'all. So I went ahead and further molded and blow dry that. Um, most of the hair that is left out is just gonna be for my swoops and stuff like that to make it look super natural. So this is just a close. And everything because I do have a widow's peak and I want everything to line up perfectly. Um, and like I said, when this hair starts getting, you know, like my hair to be a little bit worn in, before I start liking it like that. And I see on the mannequin, I know it's gonna blend well with my hair. I also have the flat iron set up so that I can go ahead and press out my edges before I um, get too close up to that part. And the sides are pretty much, you know, done. I didn't need that much from it. And this is the 22 again. So I'm just going to wrap the little yarn. Oh, yeah, I want to cut it, but I don't want all that white shit. Type of they had put on this thing, but wait a minute. I just need to put it back in there. Snaggly thing, but it's going to be this fucking curly. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm just going to slide it off. Fuck it. <clears throat> You try not to get it frizzy in here. Okay. Also, remember, if you see any of my tutorials, I always start a finger with a part. So I start right on where that thread will be at. So even if I still pop it, the glue is on top of it. And then I can still pop a hole and have ventilation and room to scratch if we do like scratch or something back there. Um, and I did not take my tracks all the way. 
around the first time. Uh, and then being that this cap is tan, it's like, what the fuck? I take it to where the end of my glasses stop behind my ear. And now I'm praying that Jesus this works because this cap is tan. I'm gonna do this like a natural scalp or something, I'll put it there or something. Yes, this is like a lot of bundle and it's gonna be curly. It's not like it's just straight hair or anything like that. And I have like my little 30,000 bottles of glue up here because I know I'm looking at the glue. So yeah. I just like to rub on the end to make sure that you know it's not no excess hair leaving anywhere here like that. And just making sure that you're going on the right side of the track, which is where the you can see the folds in it. You want that part to be laying down. And that's another thing that the napkin it keeps from those hairs poking you. If I do say so. There we go. It's not too much glue, but enough to, you know. Cover the whole track. So, this is what I meant by um, going like a finger space apart, and then I start where my glass stop in the back of my ear. That way, if I want to pop that thread right there, I can still pop it if it's too tight. But it's still on top of everything else up there. And then see a little bit of ceramic stuff on there. Yeah. And then now I got my guide for how my tracks need to lay in my head. And I just come back when I get done with it. Um, 22 inch, and I'll come back after each. The stack in there, I have 122, two bundles of 20, and um, 18 for the crown, and an 18 inch closure. Oh my gosh. I don't have to be on molding shit on my eye, and gluing shit. So, Alright. <laughs> Okay, well, so this is the first bundle, and I did get a little bit out, so I guess the tan cap, it really don't matter. And then, um, 
when I get to the top, certain parts, I probably tease the roots just to further, you know, get stuff covered if need be, or I have extra hair, but I have three more bundles in the closure to put in, so it should work out without anything shiny, because I'm far away, that's how everything's on the side and everything, so I think it's stacking pretty good. So I'll be back. Okay, y'all, this is what the two bundles are doing. And then I still have, um, I think I'm about to add my closure first. And then I'm going to go ahead and fill it back in with that 20 and that 18 up in there and all I'm gonna do is take that off make sure you be careful so you don't rip your lace <coughs> you be doing shit sometimes y'all okay and then it's gonna be like two padded lines right there that's where you're gonna put your glue at but don't put it to where it's like so so much and I think I'm gonna put like a little bit of that's to be on it I know that it's gonna stick stick and then glue I'm using I always use 30 second the same glue that I use for my lashes as well and my lashes last about a week. I usually just do one side and then do the other side, but I'm just going to do it like this this time. And I'm going to let it dry a little bit so it doesn't soak all the way through when I go to lay it down. And as you see, it's nothing coming through on the other side. this space some has to be on there somewhere when I say I'm gonna pull this like so taut on my head like make sure that your fingers are in between the neck and that hair so that way when you pull taut you know you still have your room to pull and tug and maneuver.
that's why I'm pretty flat, you know, like, I'm sitting here like this, and I'm not flat, <laughs> flat, flat. And then I just got to do my widow's peak and stuff. Once it's all the way. Oh, that's it. And I'm just further tugging. Making sure it's flat as possible. And then when I put my scarf on, it's gonna make it even flatter. I'm just pressing. <laughs> it's like uber flat. I might just stick a little bit more glue at the end of that one. Do get done, but that's gonna be like the little tedious work that you do after your hair is done. But for the most part, this bad baby is flat. Like she's flat. Okay. Her is not floating. In her head, she's like rather cool. I thought. And then I can just put some more glass to or something up there, and it'll be even better. But yeah, uh, we got our closure now. And I'm just go ahead and glue the rest of these two. Um, bundles that I got left in there and we're gonna be done and I got I had already went through and pressed the outside perimeter so I'm um the brother glue my edges and everything and yeah I'm starting to really do yeah. it should be nice and full and um I do got my shredder comb to go through and shred any pieces that I would like to shred. I don't know if I'm gonna do that or not. I might. I might. Yeah. I'm digging it, baby. Pull up like skirt, skirt. <laughs> Period. Poop. <laughs> Hey, what's up, Melanin Gang? I'm finally finished with the install. I'm just at work now. It's the next day. So I'm sorry I didn't get back to y'all yesterday, but it was a lot going on. If you are following my channel, I did vlog for week 13. And so that should be up around the same time that this video is up. I am really loving this install. I just went back in in the back because I do have on a nude cap. So I added in those two little last pieces of track hair that I had. I used all the hair in the whole pack. Um, I went ahead and Gorilla glued my edges. Um, and I put my swoop on my lace and it's laying super, super flat. And I just added two little barbrettes for, you know, a little detail, razzle, dazzle. It's nice. It's full. You can't see any of the tan cap under there. I just teased the hair with my fingers halfway through. It is cold outside, so this is a perfect hairstyle for in the cold weather. And I also went back in before gluing those two tracks back there. I cut the... um 
thread that I sewed my cap down with so it can loosen up so it's not so tight. And I went ahead and poked a hole in the cap for ventilation and I just stripped it across and it's not going to move or anything because it's in between two of those tracks in the back. So that way my hair is getting air up under there circulating and that cuts down on itching and everything like that. Um, this is a drugstore makeup look. I just use um, a one dollar dark brown pencil for my brows. I don't have any concealer or anything on them. I used a pair of lashes out of my um, So Wispy Lash collection that I had viewed you guys like a month ago or so. And you know, my just go to nude lip and i went around with that same brown that i did my brows with and then a little bit of black on the outer corners and to get this look um and then i just put like a little highlight on my nose and on my forehead but nothing too major you know your girl don't do all the foundation and stuff and it's so crazy because every time i want to do a look for y'all something that's always in the car i don't have all my stuff <laughs> So, yes, if you like this look, stay tuned on how I installed my closure and everything. I tried a new way to do it. Also, be on the lookout for how I take this install down, whenever that may be. Um, I'll probably just leave this up until um, Christmas. I'm not sure how I want to do my hair for New Year's, but this is synthetic hair. And I'm not sure how it's going to hold up. Um, it's December 10th, so... Yeah, I probably just leave this up for like two weeks or so. So by the title, you already know it is Flex on Your Boyfriend. Get ready with me, okay? All right. Melanin Nation, Melanin Gang, Melanin Poppin', Melanin taking over the world. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Ciao. <laughs>